Woo! So welcome back. Instead of meeting the hacking hermit, it looks like we got something a little more important to handle. Has been. I mean, we've been in a banana peel for a while. <laughs> Quite, I'm something? surprised it hasn't turned completely black by now. Yeah. So I mean, it's time to go shopping for mm -hmm, mostly mm -hmm. identical clothing. Imagine a man who dressed like this all the time. Ah, oh, yes, the cartoon character look. <laughs> A rustic? That almost looks like like a normal. Whoa! Does it? Back. <laughs> it it, it, it kind of reminds right. me of like some some like sweater or like I coat thing I've seen like people. I think it looks like a couch. You are you've skinned a I mean, couch and are wearing it. I'm not saying it's good looking, but I okay. feel like I've seen patterns like that before. Until I took a closer look, it looks kind of you know just like a random random pattern, right? Mm-hmm. Actually. It's computer code! Oh no, you got the nerd couch. Yeah, I got the nerd couch. Oh. All that random, not real code. It's amazing. An adult man is wearing this. <laughs> also, hey. Oh, that man looks sad. You should make that man happy. He looks sad. Oh. City Hall? Yeah, yeah, I mean... Alright. Sure. Okay. Uh... It's the as second... close as some other buildings. <laughs> okay. Uh, the second I looked at City Hall and saw those gigantic uh, panes of glass, mm -hmm. it instantly told me, oh, this is something you gotta ramp through. That's, <laughs> that's too much glass Naturally. to be left well, untouched. There was that very sad man on a street Whoa. bench. You have to cheer him up. Whoa. Uh, oh, no, uh, you missed it. He, wa he went away. Oh. Uh, that would have cheered him up so much. Yeah. So much. Uh, I drove through the glass, but it doesn't crash or anything. It just kind of instantly vanishes the second you touch it. So... It's a safety feature. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, watch your road! What road, motherfucker? He's lost control. Ah, City Hall. I have grievances. <laughs> hey, Rob, I'm coming for you. <laughs> you think potholes are the least of your problems now? <laughs> uh, Which side do you think Aiden would have come down on in the teacher's strike? Oh god. He would have hacked everybody. <laughs> Equal opportunity hacking. And, and then he would hack a giant billboard and one, it would have a meme on it and underneath it, it would say the truth is in the middle. <laughs> That's what I think Aiden would do. Oh dear. But anyways... Well, we got a nasty boy in City Hall today. Did you see that? What was it? Auctions used undergarments online. Oh, God. Via City Hall. Screw it! I took it! It was shiny! That was a five-star restaurant. It was very shiny. Aisha! Hey, he put it down and said, help yourself! If they're gonna serve this one I think is food real. on pretty plates, they can expect <laughs> to lose some. God, Wait, oh, she God, took... A plate? Jesus, who? I guess? The Spanish Inquisition? Because the, the oh, food relax. probably wasn't shiny. They can find anyone. They're probably watching right now. Yes, they are. They are staring at us. <gasps> watching. Waiting. Waiting for... Ugh, seriously, how fucking interesting could that be? I fart. That happens. But is it interesting? Does it blow your world? Maybe wow, they're, they're really well. flipping the script but on us today. Yeah. Tip of the hat to you, watchdogs. And listen and track you, and yes, Aisha, maybe even smell you. Okay, honey, we've talked about this. You need to cut back on the crazy. Yeah, so they, they put Aisha Tyler multiple times in watchdogs. Uh. There's also like a DLC pre order mission you could have gotten where you. Whoa, uh, what is this what? business? That's not how elevators work, folks. Mm. That is not how Increase it complaint calls to city. Yeah, these, these elevators you got, they're garbage. Oh, what? That man on the right! <laughs> so you think you can? Elevator, elevator, elevator. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> multiple um. smartphones and dumb legs. Um, <laughs> I, you know, City Hall is pretty fucking weird. This is not what I was expecting coming in here. Yeah, why do you think the elections go the way they do? This is the electorate. Yeah. Oh my god. We're fucked. 
Uh, but yeah, there was like a pre-order DLC mission that what had it was essentially just a like a random crime you could stop, uh -huh. but you were saving Aisha Tyler instead. I'm sure she's very grateful. Yeah. So she can continue paying for five-star meals and stealing uh -huh. shiny and stealing, things. Stealing, stealing the plates. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't shown this all the way. A few episodes ago, we did one of the human trafficking briefcase things. Yeah. But I only actually did the first half of it. Uh, I forgot to mention that when you're looking for the briefcases, it's a two-step thing. You have to find a guy who is the like the actual bidder. Right. He'll be talking to somebody, saying where the briefcase is. Then it tells you where it is. Then you go and hack the briefcase. You don't take the briefcase. You you hack a you briefcase. You hack the briefcase. This Wi-Fi enabled smart briefcase. Yeah. In this instance, this guy's Wi-Fi briefcase was all the fucking way the other side of Chicago. Alright, but, but, and hear me out. Uh. What if you just took the briefcase? Well, that's not hacking. What? what? Oh, excuse me. I can scan the briefcase. You hack something to then scan the briefcase. TTYL! I didn't say anything about not scanning it, though. There. Now everybody knows the truth about this asshole. He's got a brief. I got more on my list. And they're gonna lead me to their handler. So there are 11 briefcases that eventually unlock a mission where you deal with the, the leader of all the human trafficking stuff or whatever. Uh, I can say right now. Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Who, who this? Who's that? Alright. We buy, we sell. Jotun Falk. Find that Jotun Falk. Find that fucking troll. It's right in his name. Oh, God. He's in a parking garage, which is like one of the best places <sighs> to hide just because there's so many different cars you could be hiding oh, in. Oh, Jotun Falk's got your number. Yeah. But it's like, okay, if they're... Let's just head to the top. People like to hide in the top of these things sometimes. Whoa! Hey, hey wait a second. What? What is this? What is this, Joe and Somebody Falk? trying to drop a crate on my head? Whoa! Yeah! You gotta get the cops here! Everything's going to hell! Oh my god, there's dead people here. This has Joe and Falk written all over it. Yeah. The, the way those bodies are arranged. What? That camera's in use. I can't <laughs> hack that because it's already been hacked. It is current. Look, it's moving. Jordan He's Falk. looking at you. Oh fuck! Such a tiny circle. Where the fuck could he be? This is tense. Well, he's, it turns he's out he's screaming at you like you're Nancy right now. Yeah. Turns out. Oh, what? Oh, some. He's the so the in this area. If you hop over this railing, there is a teeny tiny ledge that has enough player collision <laughs> on it that you can hide on it. Jotun Falk, you slimy, slimy it's, dog. It's just that little sliver that he was hiding on, so there's a pro uh, invasion tip for you, I guess. If you're, for some reason, and playing along. Be sure to leave some dead bodies and hack cameras to confuse people. Yeah. But, we're finally going to visit Hermit Hackman, but there is a crime along the way. <laughs> There's just so much to do in this vibrant open world. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's so many things to mark off this checklist. <laughs> Hold it right there, pal. We need to have a chat. You and your scaffolding I business. I'm telling you, I, I wasn't leaving town. Every time you lie to me, you'll make things worse. Please, I do... <laughs> oh! Yeah, you got him. You got the invisible man. I got him. Well, Ed Ecker, I just saved your life. Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't the scaffold man that was going to get you in trouble. This it was clearly good. the invisible man. Breathe. Just breathe. This is volume four of League of, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. It all makes sense. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Some real urgency in that line delivery. Yeah, the, the way he expresses his thanks. Please, Jesus, I don't want to die. Is is doing like the presidential fitness test. 
Yeah. Yeah, go from the baseline Please, Jesus, to the center line. Die. Okay, be sure to touch it. Be sure to... Okay. <laughs> I set up these erasers in the gym. Oh, man. That man was trapped like that forever. <laughs> Let's go find Hackman in Pawnee. Pawnee. Soda pop and apple pie. And also drinking contests. Yeah, but this small town charm is bullshit. Most of it's refugees from the city. Still hiding from something. Rent prices? I used to bring Jackson Lee. It looks quaint to me, Aiden. I don't know. We never caught I think one. they're hiding from uh, the, the rent care. explosion on the, the north side yeah, neighborhood. Some of my best memories are from here. And my worst. Uh, but what I was going to say about those briefcases is that the mission you unlock from them is just like one of the random like Where's convoy missions no where you just have to blow up a car. Marina. Except there's a named NPC in it, and that's the only di only difference. Come on. Start. Yeah. There's like nothing unique about it. It's just like another convoy mission, but with a, a named guy in it. All right, Hackman. My favorite Mega Man boss. Oh well, he's my favorite Lex Luthor. So. <gasps> Damn, that was sloppy, Pierce. Stay sharp. All right. D does that mean Aiden's uh, manager is car. Clara? Oh my god. She has to wrangle this, this fucking man child. Aiden, Aiden, please submit your timesheets. Aiden, come on. Aiden, they're due by they're due by noon. I know it's only twelve oh five, but like, the more people do this, the harder it makes my job. I Just, am god. the payroll department. We're we're like a two man band here. <laughs> just, just do it as a favor, Aiden. Pawnee Militia. Oh, excuse me. Here's an employee. Let's hack him. Do I know you? Let's hack him. Let's hack him. Uh. Oh, so for some reason, there are multiple people you can hack. When I played this mission, for some reason, this man just broke and became unhackable. <laughs> Cannot be fucked. Good thing he is not the man that needs to be hacked for real. There are multiple employees to hack. I guess he's training to be an Olympic maintenance man. <laughs> the man you actually have to hack to get the password reset is always the same. And inside the ice machine. Devilish, devilish hiding. Sally Frickert. That yeah, will frick you too. Got it. Oh, I got Blues Night. Nice. Oh, that already passed. Horsey right. Horsey right. Fuck yeah. Horsey right. What's with this melancholy horsey ride music? I don't know. It's like you're you're on the range, but also, like, really sad that, like, your friend died from dysentery or something. <laughs> why, why are you on the grocery store horsey ride with no name? Oh, man, this is so topical. Whoa. Wait, November 4, 20? Is this Sturcy in the future? DLSM. Is it seven years since the kid died? Game. No, I'm like the... Why he chose Pawnee. Like, this game is supposed to be, He's like, 2013. To backyard. Well, what does Novem November 0420 mean? I don't know. There's a dash dash afterwards. It's like it's 20XX or something. Okay. It's fucking Mega Man. Maybe somebody wrote 20 dash dash because they forgot what year the game takes place in and then completely forgot to correct or it later on. what if it really is seven years since the inciting incident? Oh, my Jax God. Jax is a vampire. <laughs> Yeah? How about that? <laughs> okay. That would be better. This game really could have used some DLC like Red Dead Redemption had that was all, like, Halloween zombie-themed. That was fun. Infamous did that, too, where everybody was vampires. I would also appreciate it if uh, people got... People's skins were on, like, horse and bird skeletons. <laughs> That'd be nice. Power's still up. Kenny must have piggybacked off this. 
Kenny did love his piggyback rides. It's true. Oh, that Kenny. When he was still on the staff, Matt always, always asking for piggyback rides. I honestly think he was getting more piggyback rides than actually like working. Yeah, it, that's the real. Re- that's that. That's honestly that's the real reason why he was kicked out of Bloom. Homesteader. Sure, we have those. It's the 1800s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so. Are, are you supposed to unlift that lift or? It's the. There's a whole bunch of cameras here, and it's just a little annoying to find the correct one. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, so, up until this point, it's been really annoying to get to Pawnee, because there's no fast travel available for Pawnee. Mm-hmm. You know, you're supposed to be able to, like, hack a thing, and then, hey, you got the fast travel. Uh, this is the mission that unlocks the fast travel for Pawnee. Oh, okay, because I thought it would have been the one uh, we did earlier, where we just sailed the boat around the island. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense, but nope. Hmm. This is a real roundabout one, too. Oh. Huh. Stop reminding me of games I'd rather be playing. Yeah. I cannot believe the code. The, the code coat. Yeah, it's the worst. I mean, from, from a distance, it looks like it might just be some like kind of ugly pattern that like somebody's uncle would wear, which would totally make sense for him, mm-hmm. but no. He is an ugly uncle. He's the uglo. He... he <laughs> the, the uncle. But no, no, it just has to be that little extra touch of cyberpunk. Mm-hmm. It's... So I watched a, a, a cyberpunk movie recently. That was much better at being cyberpunk than this. Ah, overdrawn at the memory bank. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, it was a it was a bad movie, but the actual setting and, and look of it was pretty good. It was called Nirvana. Okay. It was an Italian cyberpunk movie. Oh. With Christopher Lambert. Was it all like Giallo or? Uh, it was. No, it was it was more like okay. So it's like so it's like somebody watched Blade Runner and wanted to do that but just a little different. <laughs> so it wasn't unique, but it looked good. Okay. Um, Nirvana is a movie about Christopher Lambert and how he is a video game developer Naturally. who is working on his next game, and it's due in three days because he's, he's developing the game entirely by himself, and for some reason uh, you can work on a game until the last minute. Uh, and there's a problem. A virus infects his video game, and it makes the protagonist of his game self-aware. Oh, nuts. And th- there's already a copy of, like, the mostly finished game on his company's servers, so he has to go try and delete it at the request of the, the protagonist of the game, who hates living in a game where his events constantly repeat over and over again because he, ke- he keeps getting game overs. <laughs> oh. Is, is the, uh, is the f- happy solution that he finds an MLG Pro Gamer... <laughs> to to let the the game man live in peace. Uh, no, he just straight up gets deleted at the end because that's what he I have to open this this door. Digital How euthanasia I, oh. would would be a fun game. Yeah, uh, the protagonist of the the video game is just some fat Italian dude. Um. By the meanwhile, in this game, I think they know you're here. Yeah, I, I love that the solution to opening that door isn't hack a thing to unlock it. It's just make it everything blow up. Make everything blow up and maybe the door will fall over. Well, you hacked it so hard the sun came up, so that's something. Yeah, yeah. I was down there a long time. Uh, I, I just do kind of recommend watching Nirvana. You know what, what Italian movie I'm deeply in love with is Star Crash. All right. I've never seen it with the sound on, though. But <laughs> uh, I, it just nails the X factor of what Star Wars is better than, I'd say, at huh. least three quarters of the things with Star Wars in the name. This guy's taking a long time to say we are golden. Yeah, I love how fucked up the subtitles are there. Whenever 
when it pings, it's preheated, and you can put the cake in. My friend, I owe you a drink. I don't need a drink. I own a bar. Oh, yeah. Jedediah's bar. <laughs> That's you. Jedediah. <laughs> You'd think the, the security expert would be a little less forthcoming with that. So I know. It's like, the boy, I can't wait to get... Bar. A drink with my friend Jedediah, who owns Jedediah's bar. I am Jedediah's best friend. I will probably be there at 3.30 on any given weekday. My name is Ray Kenny. Vulnerability detected. Kenny loves to talk about his friends. I love all of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Let me list them and their home addresses. <laughs> There's Jedediah, and, uh, well, it's, it's it, okay, it's really just mostly Jedediah. The curse of the nerd. When you get a friend, you cannot shut up about them. He, he's a really good friend. He owns a bar. Yeah, right, it's right, called right, Jedediah's right, right, Bar. Right, 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 right. Yes! Yeah, that's a good ramp. All right, Jedediah's Bar. Wow, you just cut off the Simpsons car. Uh-huh. <laughs> One of the also one of the only other named establishments in the game. Yeah. It's Molar's Grill and Jedediah's Bar. One moose asks another moose, "Aren't you worried about the mad cow disease jumping the mooses?" The other one answers, "Why should I care? I'm a helicopter." That's a good point. I never thought of it like that. <laughs> you see, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> Oh, that moose is so relatable. <laughs> I love his quirky observations about life. I was hoping you could help me. Looking for Ray Kenny? Never heard of him. And then he shoots you right in the back. Hope Are you Jedediah? What are you drinking? You know the usual balsamic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And those weird cups. <laughs> I've never seen man. anybody drink alcohol out of a cup like Our that. Aisha Tyler would Cash. never rob this place. Damage deposit. Yeah. I'm not really a cash kind of guy. Have you heard of Bitcoin, though? This is going on your tab. Yeah, we're great friends, Jedediah and me. <laughs> So, is it some sort of law of what do you know about storytelling Ray? that the second person you ask in a bar is the guy you're looking for in a bar? You or know, he's always just right around the corner from the first person? Social. Yeah. I did, for once, I just want to see somebody go to the bar and it's like, oh, you missed him, or oh, they don't feel like coming here today. <laughs> they switched bars, actually. That old recording, that was like three weeks ago. He moved. Yeah. He, he moved to a different bar because he really likes the burgers right. there, but he saw somebody spit in one. It wasn't his. It was for somebody else, but... That's, a, that's enough right to scare you off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look oh at that. Oh my god, do we mm -hmm. have to do the minigame? Yeah. Mandatory drinking okay, minigame. Okay, but why is the bottle covered in paper mache? You think I'm cool? I have no idea. You like you own the joint? I don't know why it's covered up like that. It's so weird. I, I also like that Aiden apparently doesn't drink the drink. He just sort of waves it. Just right. I, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, like the way he he, he wavers and like shakes wow. his drink. It's like he's a pirate singing a shanty or something. <laughs> oh God, it's it's chocolate sauce. It's, it's yeah, good, it's like actually. they're just they're they're drinking like syrup. Or like that chocolate shell stuff you put on ice cream. I was gonna say the uh, so the dipping sauce for uh, Joko for churros. Oh hey, that's pretty good. Not quite thick enough for that, but yeah, it's close. See, we're already talking about vampires. My theory holds fast. <laughs> Don't let me lose Saturday. I'm always losing Saturday somewhere. This guy uh, seems trustworthy and, and a valuable ally. Yeah, uh, totally. 
I need you to decrypt something. I lost Wednesday once, but she was with her family. <laughs> Hot cha cha. Halloween jokes. What'd you say that name was again? Raymond Corbin. This is my favorite cutscene in the game because it's like the only cutscene where Aiden gets a little <laughs> owned. He gets defenestrated, he gets decked across the jaw. Yeah, yeah. You owe the man a hundred dollars. All right, now why isn't this guy fighting the good fight of righteous fury? <laughs> yeah, right. Hello, Ray. I said, keep your voice down. 